Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So when working with buyers, we often get asked what happens in an inspection and what is an inspector looking for? Well, truthfully, um, the inspector is going to give you literally a Bible sized list of things about the house. They're really looking at three major pieces. Number one, the roof. So they're looking for overall condition of the roof, signs for uh, any leaking. They're looking for the quality or the condition of the shingles. They're looking at the uh, soffits and the uh, fascia. They're looking at the, uh, the boards underneath of the shingles. So they'll look at that through the attic. They want to make sure that roof is sound and it's not going to pose any problems when the buyer takes ownership of the home. Now, the second thing they're looking for is the overall structure. Okay, so this includes, it starts really with the foundation and the walls uh, and then anything inside, right? Like we're talking electrical, we're talking uh, any uh, uh, evidence of mold or uh, you can do radon, some people do meth tests. They're looking at the overall condition, right? And that's important because lenders want to make sure that the home you're buying and that they're lending on is of quality and is up to their standards. Okay, so structure, uh, number two, number one was the roof, and number three is like sort of big ticket items, like utility stuff, um, HVAC, so uh, whether it be your air conditioner, condenser, or your furnace. Um, again, the inspector wants to make sure that the home is gonna be heated during the cold months and cooled during the summer months. Um, and your lender too wants to make sure that that home is gonna uh, be comfortable for our family to live in. So again, the inspector looks at a lot of things, but those are the three major things. If you have any questions or want to talk about it in more detail, give me a call, text, or email us. We'd love to talk.